As I'm driving right now, you guys. Man. Oh, that makes me cry. As I'm driving. I'm thinking about hell. How bad that place is, you guys. That place is so horrible. This is so bad for people. It's so bad. I was listening to Worship Son. And it comes to mind the fact that there's a hell. The people are extremely suffering there and there's no way out there's no second chances <sighs> no second chances in hell you guys thank be to God that we are saved we have a spirit we are elected we're chosen we're forgiven of our sins but not so for the world that's separated from God. It's not the same. I'm going preaching and preaching right now. And if you guys can keep me your prayers, that would be great. Anyways, God bless you guys so much. Be blessed, be protected. We are so blessed, you guys. We are so blessed by God. It's beyond words. Words can't describe how blessed we are. There's no explanation. There's no description as to the gift that we have from Jesus. It's, it is certainly an unspeakable gift. And that's what it is. At times, I don't feel it because I'm working and I, God knows that I have to work. But other times, when I'm meditating on God, I feel this weight on me for the souls of people. And it's, it's excruciating. It, it is an excruciating fact that people go there when they die without Jesus. It shakes me to the core. It is a very harsh reality of hell. And it makes me very humble. It makes me serve God more. So God uses it in a good thing for me. He makes me scream and yell that I have no voice. He makes me preach and, and go out in the sun. Go out in the sun to preach to people. He moves me. It motivates me to tell people about salvation. And it is something that it has to be in all of us. As Christians, we have to serve God one way or the other. God bless you guys.